Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show y'all how to download fonts from dafont.com and I'm going to talk a little bit about the the license for these fonts. So if you look to right above the uh, download button oh also this is on my Mac computer this is a tutorial for Mac users. I use the Safari um, browser when I download fonts because I feel like the steps are easier than with Chrome so I usually do it in Safari. Um, if you look right here on right above the download button it tells you free for personal use or let's see a hundred percent free um, donationware some of them will say demo right here there we go um, free for personal use means just that exactly that um, you can use it for personal use and then if you want to use it in something that you sell then you're gonna need to buy the commercial license for it um, the 100 percent free means that it's free you can use it for commercial or personal use um, donationware means that the you're donating to the author and some of them have set prices that you have to at least donate you can donate more than what they have but some of them have like ten dollars fifteen twenty dollars that you have to um, donate to get the commercial license for it um, or some of them are pay what you want which means that you they expect you to pay what you think the font is worth so if you think a font is only worth a dollar then you donate a dollar you think it's worth a hundred dollars you donate a hundred dollars but you will have to read what that author would like for you to donate um, and then demo means that you're only allowed to use it in your projects to see how it looks you can't use it even if it's for personal use. You still have to buy the font to use it in any kind of project if it's demo. So, say I want to download Spring in My Step. Let's download it. And then also, if you click on the font, you're going to see where to down. Um, let's see, this one is a donationware. So this will give you info on where to donate or how much. And see, this one says you have to pay $20 via PayPal to his email for the commercial use. So there's that. They're always going to have information right or most of the time, I won't say always, most of the time you're going to have information right there to tell you where to donate or where to buy the commercial license most of the time and then if you keep scrolling it's going to give you a character map and this is going to show you what the font does the font that this file includes not the commercial version usually the commercial version has extra stuff in it so this is what this file includes so see if you want this little bu you type in the equal sign you want the bunny, you type in this sign. The flower, this flower, butterfly, all these, the heart, the sun, all these little designs, those are the characters you use to get them. And every font that you download from Defont will have the character map right here, but they won't show what the commercial version includes. It's only going to show what this font file includes. So that's another tip I wanted to show y'all there. So after you've downloaded it you want to sometimes this will be a font file this one is a folder so you want to double click it it's going to open the font file and you're going to see all these there's two different files for it this is that picture to show you what it looks like, here's the license information. Again, usually I try to download OTF files because I've noticed that they 
usually are smaller files so they don't take up as much space in my computer so usually that's what I try to download let's see this one's 78 this one's 78 same but I'm still going to use OTF usually most of the time I've, I've noticed that it's smaller and it's just the one that I've always always use so if I want to use this file double click it and then it's going to pop up right here for my font book install font and then it's going to pop up right here in your font book and then here is every font that you have downloaded on your computer um, but here is the font I just downloaded and you can play with it right here to see how the words that you want to use are going to look Oops. and decide if you want to use it in your project or not also for Mac users if you click this button right here it's going to give you the character map just like from the font so if you have a font with extra swirls and glyphs and things then you'll see them right here so let me find one that I know has them um, let's go with Braveheart I know Braveheart has it see here's all the little extras that come with it all these with the little swirls that come off the sides of the the letters are gonna sh be right here on the character map so you don't have to download a character map or use a different program for it they're all gonna be right there and then you just copy and paste it to your project and it's there so that was another trick I wanted to show y'all um, but yes that is how you download and install fonts from DeFont for Mac users um, Windows this might be similar for you but I'm not for sure I'm not positive on that but here it is for Mac users um, this is for the Safari browser which I like to use because it seems like less steps than Chrome is but that's all personal choices so I hope that helps y'all